Head of Xbox is feeling good about the Activision Blizzard buyout while not as certain about console exclusivity. Meanwhile, Dead Island 2 hands-on coverage has found its way out in the wild. Phil Spencer, head of Microsoft Gaming, has recently commented on the proposed acquisition of Activision Blizzard, saying that he feels pretty good about it. Speaking to Bloomberg, he commented on understanding the scrutiny of the enormous deal. Now, it's currently going through the regulatory bodies of the world, with the first approval coming from Saudi Arabia, with the next ones still being US and UK, which are still pending. And due to the breadth of the deal, PlayStation raised concerns about Microsoft's exclusivity to some of the IPs. The $69 billion deal means that Microsoft will be acquiring behemoth IPs like Call of Duty, Overwatch, World of Warcraft, and Candy Crush. And if that already wasn't an incredible feat, Phil Spencer also commented on his commitment to improve sexism and discrimination that is happening within Activision Blizzard's offices. Now, of course, with the recent acquisition of Microsoft obtaining Bethesda, there's been a lot of debate and conversation around console exclusivity and what that means for people who are fans of series like Elder Scrolls, Fallout, and the upcoming Starfield. Does that mean they're going to have to shell out for Xbox consoles to play those games? Well, Phil Spencer also commented on that to Bloomberg, saying that, just broadly speaking, we're seeing less and less of it, and that he feels that naturally, it's going away with time. Now, an interesting thing to consider is the recent uptick in Sony exclusives we've been seeing find their way onto PC, with the most recent being Marvel's Spider-Man. Additionally, Death Stranding, another one of PlayStation's exclusives to find its way in PC, was recently added to PC Game Pass, a Microsoft service. So, let that sink in. Still, while exclusivity concerns run rampant, the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 beta is going to be exclusive to PlayStation for its first weekend, so take from that what you will. If you haven't heard, the Dead Island series ain't so dead because just yesterday the long-awaited sequel was finally shown at Gamescom opening night live, and some lucky folk who were at the convention in Germany got to have some hands-on time with it, including Eurogamer and IGN. According to IGN writer Matt Perslow, they got 20 minutes of hands-on time as one of the game's six playable characters in solo mode. However, the final version of the game will support up to three-player co-op. In their preview, they detail the game's explicit fleshy gore and zombie dismemberment, including the way skin chars if it's burned. <sighs> In fact, the game has its own in-game system for procedurally generated zombie gooey fleshy stuff called, appropriately, Flesh, which stands for Foley Locational Evisceration System for Humanoids. Now, of course, we'll be able, all of us will be able to get hands on or hands in the gooey flesh stuff sometime in early February of 2023 when the game is expected to launch. Super Smash Bros. creator is starting his own YouTube channel where he talks about game design, and it is appropriately called Masahiro Sakurai on creating games. He detailed his vision to create bite-sized videos about a range of topics in video game design with an emphasis on classic games. He's also not the only major developer to suddenly just want to dip their toes into other forms of content making. In fact, Hideo Kojima took to Gamescom yesterday to announce that he's starting his own podcast in September. All right, folks, that's it for today's news. Thank you for coming here to GameSpot to check it out, to be informed and stay cool so you, you're in the know, like all the other cool gamers, like you should be in the know. Anyways, we also have a bunch of Gamescom coverage happening all this week, so please stay here to check it out, including trailers, gameplay clips, and all that jazz. Anyways, I'm Kurt. Till next time, see ya.